Like, women have, like, too much energy for me. You know what I mean? Like, you can't have a day off when you have a girlfriend. You ever notice that? It's almost like they see that open day. They're like, oh, my God, let's go fill it up with shit. <laughs> no, then they just come at you with one horrible idea after another. <laughs> horrible ideas. Like, you want to make some sandwiches and go to the park? What's going on, Rebel family? All you revolutionary-minded people out there. Back with another video. Today's video birthday blues a a 30 year old man had the birthday blues his birthday did not go the way he wanted but before we get to the video go ahead and like share and subscribe to the channel so a 30 year old man posted on reddit that he had basically a sucky birthday and he wanted to share it and he stated that he does not he does not want to be a bitch about it, but he's going to bitch today about it. So, 30-year-old man, he says, my birthday sucked, and it's on the Reddit, threw off my chest. So he wanted to share the, uh, how his birthday went. He didn't say, he said mid-30s, he didn't say exactly when. So I'm going to go ahead and read this, and, um, uh, Let's talk about it because there's some lessons to be learned here. And, you know, I find it uh, funny that, um, you know, he decided to share all of this. Okay, so he gets started here. He says, mid 30s here. Normally not one to complain, but today is my birthday and it sucked. So I'm going to be a whiny bitch. <laughs> That's funny. So, <laughs> but anyway, let's keep going. It says, married, sole breadwinner. My wife is a stay-at-home mom. My, in parentheses here, really clearly requested birthday presents. <laughs> An enthusiastic BJ blowjob, right? Two breakfast made for me even a bowl of cereal i don't care just a little effort showing that they care birthday timeline he says he wakes up wake up at 6 a.m super quick vanilla quickie with the wife no bj toddler cries as we're finishing so in super quick quicker right <laughs> this guy he's funny <laughs> so he says 6 15 take my kid downstairs make him breakfast roll some cars around he's cute don't make myself breakfast that would be effing sad after my request then he says 7:45. wife heads across to another city for a 100 percent unimportant pta type meeting she could totally skip if she wanted to i see her off don't even get a happy birthday remember this timestamp: 7:45. the wife goes to her pta type meeting 7:45 to 8 30 i do the housework like most days prep the child walk him to daycare and go off to my office to start work okay it's a busy guy but this is this is this is hilarious okay all right let's keep going so he says 8 8 30 to 11 30 work child number two was at a friend's the night before gets sent home from school due to being sick even though she's not sick I leave work, take her home, and look after her. Wife still in pointless PTA. I remind kid it's my birthday, and I get a get an oh I forgot happy birthday. Make sandwiches <laughs> sounds like uh, Bill Burr. Make sandwiches on on my day off, or in his case, on his birthday. Make sandwiches for her and generally keep her happy. She's cute too. Kid goes to at 1.30 or 13.30. Kid goes to grandma's. He goes back to work. 5 o'clock, 1700, right? 5 o'clock. Wife gets back from PTA meeting. Finds I have taken the 
twelve or so dollars she left on the on on my card money wallet pile, assuming it was mine. Apparently she received it from someone and didn't write down how much it was. Get aggressively lectured for no reason. <laughs> She is too tired to pick up toddler. I rush to go do it. 17.30 or 5.30. She asks what I've prepared for the kids' dinner. Uh, I was working. I tried to, to suggest cheerfully, hey, it's my birthday. Let's Uber something tasty. Get told off for, take, for that taking too long and told to make something. So I make the kids some ravioli. 1800 which is six o'clock wife grumpily folds a few towels from the three loads of washing that i did then goes to play with her phone in our bedroom while i feed the children okay see what else see what else he says here all right so he says um 1830 or 6 30 birthday dinner birthday dinner was ravioli scraps and some toast too burned out to be f making anything at that point 1900 seven o'clock i bathe the kids and feed them a slice of birthday cake i bought i invite wife downstairs for cake nope okay <laughs> we gotta play a little game here now let's play a game of guess what race it is <laughs> Okay, right? Reading this, it's only one race of man that I could even think that would be in this type of position to, to hear something. This Not that it has to be, but it just jumped off at me. It, this is who it is. And also being that it's on Reddit, right? That, uh, you know, the guy in this scenario is a white guy, right? But we could take lesson here. So, before I continue, now that we've established what race we think it is, not that it's overly important, but the point is the lessons here. So he said he, his wife left at 745 to go to her PTA type meeting and gets and got back around, you know, uh, five o'clock or so. Now, who wants to tell him? I mean, re literally, who wants to tell this guy what's going on with his wife, right? <laughs> the enthusiastic BJ that he got, someone else got on his birthday. Let's just keep it 100, right? That, uh, that's where she, there's no PTA meeting lasting that long all day, especially when, when school is in session. I don't even understand why this guy even would, would believe that story. She's obviously uh, cheating on the guy. I mean, who wouldn't in this case, right? This whole thing screams. I mean, everything that we've read or that's that we've talked about so far screams, 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 screams. He's the beta, the simp. Uh, you know, some guys like to call them cucks, whatever. I mean, it, it screams henpecked. It screams that she has no respect for him. If if she's going to do all, do stay at home, he's the sole breadwinner. Now, in a situation like this, when and um, in 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 my marriage, and um, being the uh, being the breadwinner, my wife would always say, "Hey, well, look, you know, whether whether it was." You know, when I was in uh, corporate America or when uh, running my own business, my wife would always say, hey, look, you know, you don't need to worry about doing anything with the kids, you know, going for appointments, unless it was something major that she did not want to take me away from whatever uh, jobs I may have to do when, it, when it, you know, um, my own business um uh, you know contracting and so forth jobs or whatever or when i worked uh when i was in corporate america what have you that hey your job is providing the uh living for us so we i don't want to take you away unnecessarily for that you know i can manage with the kids but of course sometimes i wanted to be there but in this situation 
she would have never um, decided to go to some, you know, it's a PTA meeting, but not the kind that he hoped. But she would have never done anything like that to um, be away from, you know, to take away from me and whatever I was doing in terms of working. So, you know, he, she shows that there's no level of respect for him that, you know, you can risk his livelihood, which is providing, a, providing for you and the children by taking off and going to meet another dude. Let's just keep it 100. She's totally uninterested. This whole thing about her running upstairs to play with her phone, it was to you know basically let 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 old boy know that she's been with all day that she misses him already and can't wait to see him again right that's clearly what's going on here right so he says 1700 he um i bathe the kids and feed them a slice of birthday cake i invite the wife downstairs for cake nope yeah because she's still talking to old boy right let's get to the end of this right <clears throat> so 2000 or 8 o'clock I bring the kids upstairs to bed put the big one to bed and the little one decides he wants to cuddle mommy 2030 or 830 big kid falls asleep wife falls asleep next to the little one 2030 to 2200 clean up the kitchen and two kids worth of carnage by myself that's it birthday done uh, 2200 onward now I mindlessly scroll reddit wishing someone cared about me not just needed me for money food changing diapers honestly a card a letter a cuddle and a happy birthday a effing coffee made for me any glimmer of hope that she cared would have been enough I've got I've got money food and a roof over my head I've got money, food, and a roof over my head. Uh, I know at the end of the day, it's not so bad, and I'm just being a bitch, but I guess it's a bit lonely. Hey. So, you know, that <laughs> that's it. That's the story. <laughs> it's so funny. You know, I don't want to tell the guy, I mean, poor guy, for him that you know unfortunately my man she's uh you know she doesn't respect you whatsoever um you know you're gonna have to grow a pair and you know take back your uh, manhood because right now she owns it and it's unfortunate that uh, you know you had to endure that on your birthday but you know um, just, just to solidify what race it is, <laughs> you know, this, this is what it is. I mean, this, that's, that's him there. <laughs> that, that's the guy there alone on his birthday. So, but those are my final thoughts. Peace, Rebel family.